Hey guys, and it's Ice here. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. Finally back, and I'm, well, I came back like a week and a half ago actually, but I finally got some work done. I had uh, a deadline to hit today, kind of four o'clock ish, and I've been working so hard. I've been up till like five in the morning the past couple of days, and I've been so knackered. And it's going to be so good. I'm going to kind of like start off slowly, do a bit of Minecraft, get back into the role of things and uh, slowly work my way back up to doing lots of videos for you guys. So, I've had lots of requests whilst I'm out. Epic Beef Sausage basically wants me to build a huge manor with a thousand different rooms, which I'll... I will, I will get round to doing that. Um, Gammy Rocks 99 wants me to put in a shower, so yeah, no problem. But first of all, I'm going to head into the nether. I'm going to start with my unloaded chunks behind there. I'm going to start with my, like, um, little hello, zombie pig man. I'm going to start off with like some sort of a house in here. A house thing. What I'm going to put in here is actually, I'm going to put in... Where should I put it? Oh, well, there's my hole, so I want to put it over here somewhere. Um, I want to throw in some sort of like little alchemy place in here. Because a nether wart will only... You can plant it in the real world, but it will never grow. It will never grow to the stage where you can pick it up and get more than one out of it, so you can like replant it. So it's not sustainable when you're not in the nether. So I don't know why I'm digging out all of this. I don't need to dig out of all of this. I just basically just wanted to put a little path in so I could walk around. Um, not being slow. So I might move some gravel in here later. But for now it's going to have to be dirt. Dirty dirt. So let's put my house or my little alchemy room here, say, so I can have the entrance there. I'll put some gravel in here later. Excuse me, zombie pig man. So I've got all the things I need to make some sort of a house here. I'm going to use this wood as kind of like the uh, the base of it. So, um, right, so let's just pile in a load of dirt here that those in the middle actually need to be planks. Move. Oh crap, should have done that. Crap, 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 crap. Sorry guys. I forgot that the zombie pigmen kind of group up. Oh god, group up on you. That was a mistake. And oh, look at that. That's my first golden nugget. A golden nugget. My first one of those. Right, so. Um, base of my house. I'm going to have a door there. And I need to put in some dirt here. And there. I could reach like so. Whoops. Okay, might have to extend the ceiling a bit in shortly. So I should have just enough materials for me to make a little house in here. If I haven't, then obviously I'll just have to knit back and get some. Obviously. Um, I want to replace the floor with planks eventually. So um, something like this, methinks. Um, that's four by four, so I can go a little bit further with this. Might be cool to have it kind of dug into the netherrack and have walls of netherrack, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure if I actually want to build it like that right now. Um, so I'll just quickly dig out all this soul sand and that one piece of netherrack. Throw in a plank floor just to get things started. I'm so glad I have an enchanted shovel, which is almost dead already. That's that's shocking. I really thought that thing was going to last a little bit longer. So in here, I'm going to have like my little potions area, brewing stand, cauldron of water. So one thing with the cauldron of water is I'm going to have to. Um, I'm not sure if I, that'll actually work. You know, I bring in the cauldron. I didn't bring a door. Never mind. I don't really need a door. So I've got woolen stuff to like, whoops, to do pretty much just to keep the same style as I've had going on previously. And then two stacks in each corner. And you know what? The hell is that sound? Is that one of those, there's a cave nearby sounds? I can hear ghasts. I am going to dig out this netherrack just so I can keep some sort of style going, have all my houses looking similar. Did I bring glass? I did bring glass. Um, I was going to put in a plank roof, 
But I'm not sure now if I've got enough pieces for a full plank roof. Well, let's make a start anyway. I mean, I can use some of the netherrack as a ceiling for now. And knock it out when I get round to it, I guess. Oh, there we go. There's my roof. <laughs> and then I've got some glass for my windows. Which seems a bit pointless round here, around the back there, but... Uh, I'm not bothered. I might dig a little tunnel around the outside, you know, have my netherwalk growing all the way around the house instead of just um, outside on the floor. So this is pretty much um, my little nether house. So we'll have a brewing stand in the centre, shall we? Or should we stick it? Let's put a brewing stand there. I can move it later if I want to. Have a cauldron. No idea if this is going to work. Oh, it did work. Excellent. So here we go. Glass bottles. Get three glass bottles and you can put these in here. I'll probably have to show the brewing process in a later video. I've got a lot of brewing to do, so don't worry, you're not going to miss out on too much. Um, as for my uh, nether wart, what we can do is we could grow it all around the house. Yeah, good idea. Because then it gives me a reason to dig at the back there. So I'll put in what I've got at the moment. And I could probably surround this by dirt as well, might be a good idea. So I can walk around. So, like so. Obviously I'll never get grass growing on this dirt, because grass needs to travel from a grass block to a dirt block, and there's no grass down here, so... I might replace this with gravel at some point, I don't know, just to make it look nicer. Dig around the outside, throw in a door, finish off my roof. That kind of thing. So at some point I'll be getting on with that. So now, when I'm in the nether, these won't grow when I'm in the normal world, these nether warts, but when I'm in the nether, they will like, slowly grow, and when they get really big, I'm pretty sure I can punch them and uh, collect them, and then I get like two or three, I guess, and I can plant two more, take one, brew with it. It's the kind of thing I'm aiming for, at least. So I've got a gold nugget now, and some rotten flesh. Loads of nether rack again. Uh, other things I need to do, I need to kind of prepare for what things I need to build, add on to my house. Hopefully it's not dark out. I've got my sword in case it is. It is dark out, so let's have a quick run over here. Grab these um, saplings. At some point I'm going to have to go hunting for endermen, because I'll need those ender eyes, ender pearl things at some point. There we go, close that. So I need a bedroom. Ideally I want my bedroom, put my bedroom upstairs. Um, I need a shower, so that would be a bathroom kind of thing going on. I'll have a little bathroom, maybe put a little flushing toilet. That'd be cool if I could manage to do that. What else? Um, I need to have a living room. I guess this is just my, like, porch. My, uh, what, what, do you, what do they call them? The place where you entertain guests and you hang up your coats. The, the parlour. This is the parlour. Got an enchanting room back there. Um, I need a living room. I have to build my living room with the chimney, so I might put my living room on this side. Or I might put it on this side, actually. Put it on this side and I can have a chimney sticking out the top. And then over here, I guess, I could have some stairs going up to my upper floor. Have my bedroom up there, my bathroom. I'll need a kitchen. The kitchen can be on the side of the living room. And a dining hall. The dining hall, I don't know, you can go on the other side of the kitchen, I guess, so you might have to... Although the kitchen doesn't need to be too big, so I'll have a corridor going down the side of the kitchen. Hello, skeleton! Leading to the massive dining hall, which can, like, hang over the edge of the lake, or whatever, the ocean. Um, I think that's pretty much covered everything I need to build there, in this house. So I don't know whether to do that on screen or off screen, it's up to you guys. If you want to see me building, lots and lots of building. Give me a chance to get back into Minecraft again. Then, uh, just say, what is that over there? Oh, it's a zombie or something burning. I thought something had set a fire. It's like this. It's a skeleton or something burning away there. So, I also need some pink wool. Now, can I remember how to make pink wool? I think it's red flowers. Red flowers, bone meal, and lots of white wool. Uh, so let's see, I've only got eight pieces of wool actually. Two pieces of pink wool. I need black wool. Um, so I need dyes. What have I got for dyes? Oh, rose red. I've got loads of rose red. 
lots and lots of that. So is this how I make pink dye? It is. I did not want two stacks of 64 pink dye. I've got to stop shift clicking on items like that. Um, I should have some shears in here. Apparently not. Um, maybe my shears are up there. I need to find some sheep and shear them. Um, get some babby sheep. I've got some wheat, which I haven't. I need to go get some wheat. Uh, I might actually have to extend my basement so I can actually get down here easily at some point. So, where's my food? I've only got 12 wheat left. I need a farm. That's something I need. I, I need a farm. So, at some point, I think one of my favourite ways to build a farm is to build them out into the water. Is that unloaded chunks, or is it just I can see through the water really easily? So, I don't know. What, sh what do you think I should do? Should I build an offshore farm, like some sort of weird ocean paddy field, or should I bring the water inland and build a farm around my house to get some wheat? What do you guys think? And tell me in the comments. The doobly-doo. Someone's got to say that now that uh, It's the Program has ended. Miss that. Miss It's the Program. There's only one sheep on my island. So, I'll take what you've got. Oh, there is another sheep. Ah, ah, ah. Oi, you. Here. Yeah, come here. Come on. Come on. Sheep. Sheep. Have babbies so I can shear you. Hopefully now that I haven't both sheared you, I haven't changed you to net. Oh! Oh my god, that thing looks incredibly strange. Yes, it's got a big head and it's got a tiny body, but that is ridiculous. So slightly less wool coming up of that thing. Can I make you have... Can I... No, no, you don't want any more wheat. Fine. There's another sheep over there. Righty-hoo. I'll take your wool. So I'm thinking of taking a trip onto the mainland now, so that I can... Um, go find some more sheeps. So let me grab my mine cart. Grab a mine cart. I right, share that sheep. Oh no, that's just a, a big woolen statue. So, mine cart. Clicky click, and we're off ever so slowly. Should get a good speed boost going along here though. Some squids down there. Don't need any ink sacks. Don't know if you can do any alchemy with ink sacks, actually. Be cool if you could, because it's kind of like a biological item going on there. So I've got to remember is not to leave my Minecraft here. My Minecraft, my Minecraft here. Kind of want my minecart just so that I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to my minecart. I don't know. A creeper might run off with it. Enderman might take it or something. So I am looking for sheep. Um, don't know if I'm going to find any. Just rearranging this so I can get a map out, see where I'm going. Don't want to get lost. There's my island. I'm on this little spit of land. Um, let's head this way. There seems to be just uh, nothing over there. Yay! Lots of land. I was so afraid this was going to be a, end up being a tiny little spit of land like everything else. Is that a sheep? That's a birch tree. Um, Ah, ha. ooh, multicolored sheep. The nice thing about this is just because I've got grey wool off of this sheep doesn't mean it's going to be like a grey sheep or anything. And they're all the same colour actually. You, you, brown sheep, have you any wool? Go procreate and make me little babby sheep. Ah, oh, that must have been the black sheep that I I shared before. Did that? Just give me brown and black wool. So can I... You can't do these again. They're all knackered out, I guess. From what they've been doing. Uh, that is the edge of the island that way. So I need to head this way. Ish direction. I'm going to hunt for more sheepses. There we go. So let's get these in the mood. Hello. Come here. Oi. Oi. You. And see if you can have a, a three-way. feel like I really shouldn't have said that, but I did. I did say that. <laughs> this one's trying to get it on with this one. He's like, I'm not interested. I've just made a baby. And get this one over here. Hello. Hello, white-faced sheep. Come here. Oi. No. You. You. Check out my wheat. 
You want my wheat? Have my wheat. Got a sheep over here who's ready for some love making. There we go. Make me a babby. Nope. Oh. That fella's just been left there. Left in the lurch. So I've got a fair bit of wool now. I suppose I could have used the bone meal to dye other colours of wool. I mean, I've got loads of wool, all different colours. So I don't know why I didn't just use bone meal to dye it white. I could have just dyed any other, any old colour pink, I think, actually. I don't think if I dyed it pink, like a red wool pink, it would turn magenta or anything. So I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I actually came all the way out here to try and get more sheep. Anyway, looks like my time is running out. hope this has been good for everyone. It's been good for me. Back into video making at last. Finally got all my pressures off me. I can start taking more time out for various things. So um, I hope you enjoy the fact that I am back. I certainly enjoy the fact that I'm back and I'm glad that stuff and things um, really don't know how to end a video anymore. So more sheep. Sheep. Ooh, a pig. I might actually come out and get some pork as well whilst I'm out here. Use the last of my wheat on a couple of these, I think. And I'll see you in the next video. So until then, give me your comments about the various things I've mentioned in this video. If you skip to the end of the video and you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm afraid you're just going to have to watch the video. So um, until the next video, die. Not you, the pig, sorry. Till the next video, I want you to want you to all die. No, that's not what I was trying to say at all. Um, I uh, hope you have a good time. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.